First of all, guys, this video wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for stupid f***ing Premiere that can't stay on without being buggy and shutting down on me, ruining my edits. But beyond that, let's move into taking a look at the Nintendo Switch. Six budget items. This is six. This is five. This is six. Six budget items I've come up with and put on a list. Now, I typically do PC stuff, but let's take a look at some budget stuff for your Nintendo Switch to improve your Switch life on the cheap. Number one, a carry case. A carry case may not be for everyone, but if you plan on being advantageous of the Switch's portability, I highly recommend it. As a Zelda fan, I picked the Zelda carry case. Link down below, no pun intended, I put a few great options of affordable carry cases that offer a little extra in the way of storage as well. Number two, a USB-C to USB-A cable. USB-C is a newer standard of USB connectivity. Most average consumers don't understand just how capable it is. In the case here, the objective goal is to get something Nintendo doesn't give you out of the box. I see it as a worth it and affordable investment. If you're wondering why you might need a USB-C to USB-A connector, it is simply for charging the device on the go, when the base stand may not be available or convenient to use if you want to play. USB 2.0 is not the desired generation here, shoot for a 3.0 as it is the native standard for the Switch. The best buy is a 2-pack right now, which is about $13 versus a 1-pack for about $9. Number 3. External Battery the Switch hardware does an amazing job at power efficiency. I'm sure some of you disagree with this. I've noticed this firsthand though, and I remain completely impressed. The Tegra 210 in conjunction with the GM20B Maxwell base GPU work well in system preservation of battery life. That doesn't mean you may not want to consider a powerful extension for your battery life. I made a few wallet friendly good picks and listed them down below if you so desire, take a look. Before we move on though to the next one, number four, the Switch's internal battery is a 4310 Ma battery. Ideally, we want to kind of match this or go a little bit bigger. Again, this is largely based off of if you're going to travel. Some people will likely leave the Switch as a console for the entirety of its life. But for about the $10 price range, there are some good on-point options. Keep in mind, it depends on what you're playing. Charge will either be stalled or barely climbed for different titles depending on how demanding they are on the hardware. Theoretically, a 5000 mAh 5V 2.1 Amperage output battery bank is the minimum desirable. Number 4. Micro SD Card while I will mention one microSD in particular, the Patriot LX 128GB, I will say even at its competitively low price for how good it is, it still costs just shy of $50, at least at the time that I'm doing this. For money saving purposes, you can find deals on 64GB microSD cards. And again, I will list a few below. This is one of those moments though where I feel like I need to stress, too cheap can be a bad thing here. Sometimes a few extra bucks is still more affordable while proving to be the best option on a limited budget. Number five. My favorite on this list, the controller grips, Joy-Con mini conversion controller grips. If you are a Switch owner, or at least plan to be, you have likely been doing some research, or you already know. But if not, allow me to shock you a little bit. Where the Switch itself comes in at a reasonable price, the accessories, not so much. Two additional Joy-Cons cost $80, and that doesn't include the $20 adapter or the $30 charging adapter. There is a way to look at this as reasonable, and I can see where Nintendo justifies the cost due to truly being versatile. Each half of the Joy-Con controller can function as its own mini controller, making each a $40 per side fully functional controller. This of course is based off licensed Nintendo prices and not any potential third party distributors which I have yet to witness. The downside is they're small and largely uncomfortable to hold because of their small size. Fortunately, you can pick up awesome grip attachments and give yourself a little bit more of that native controller feel on the cheap. I listed some great options down below starting with the ones that I use personally. Hopefully they stay in that $10 to $12 price range for a two pack because it's genius and a must for me anyways. Number six, the last on the list here, uh, one of those things that I just feel like needs to be mentioned and is probably one of the best prices of anything else on the list. A protector strip or a screen protector, however you choose to call it. This one again is more for the user who will be doing a lot of travel. If protecting your screen is paramount, finding one of the best solutions for one of the lowest costs may be important to you. There are sticky plastic screen protectors that can be a hassle to deal with both in the application process and over time. They start to become smudgy and micro scratched and diminishing the visual appeal that just makes kittens cry. For less than three dollars I found and tested a company that offers a tempered glass solution. It comes in a two pack just in case you break one and passes my scratch test. Check the link down below, hopefully the price will stay consistent and reasonable. For less than $3, it was completely worth the investment and definitely earned a spot on my list. Guys, I hope this video was informative and helpful. If you liked it, be sure and subscribe and get some more information, more videos from me. I typically do PC stuff, but hopefully this will be something that I can do on the side as well. But I love the Nintendo, I grew up playing it, and uh, if these are things that helped you come to a better conclusion of what you want to get for your Nintendo Switch to help improve your experience playing the Nintendo Switch, then, then great, awesome. Make sure to get subscribed, like it if you like it, leave me a comment down below, I'll get back with you. You guys uh, hit me up on Twitter if you want, at 86media, and I will talk to you on there as well. 
Uh, stay tuned for more giveaways. Gemini Doctor's been wanting to give away some PC speakers, and I need to get back in touch with them about doing that. So, uh, you guys, I will see you in the next videos that I do. Have a great day, night, whatever it is. On a second note, if you're watching any of these snippets individually on Amazon, I'm going to cut it and post each one of those snippets for specific items that are reviewed in this video. So, if you want to see the whole video and you're watching this on Amazon, go to YouTube and find me at 86Gaming. Like how long it takes to come in here closer. <laughs> yeah, right. You guys thought building the PC was hard. <laughs>